It's an interesting question. But do you think that gold is currently a good investment, given what you're saying about the potential for turmoil? Yes. Do you put... <laughs> yes, I, yeah, I mean, I, uh, economists are usually perfect in equivocating. In this case, I, did, I didn't equivocate. Look, remember what, remember what we're looking at. Gold is a currency. It is still, by all evidences, the premier currency where no fiat currency, including the dollar, can match it. And so that the issue is, if you're looking at the question of turmoil, you will find, as we always have in the past, it moves into the gold price. But the gold price is actually sort of half a commodity price. So when the economy is weakening, it goes down like copper. Uh, but it's also got a monetary characteristic which is intrinsic. It's not inbred into human beings. I cannot conceive of any mechanism by which you could say that, but it behaves as so though it is. Intrinsic currencies like gold and silver, for example, are acceptable without a third party guarantee. And uh, I mean, for example, at the end of World War II, or just at the end of it, uh, Germany could not import goods without payment in gold. The uh, person who shipped the goods in would accept the gold and didn't care if there's any credit standard associated with it. That is a very rare phenomenon. It's, a, it's the reason why, for example, in a, a renewal of an agreement that the central banks have made, European central banks, I believe, about allocating their gold sales, which occurred when gold prices were falling down, that has been renewed this year with a statement that it, gold serves a very important place in monetary reserves. And the question is, why do central banks put money into an asset which has no rate of return, but cost of storage and insurance and everything else like that? Why are they doing that? If you look at the data, with a very few exceptions, all of the developed countries have gold reserves. Why? Well, I imagine right now it's because of a question mark hanging over the value of fiat currency or the credibility going forward. Well, that's what I'm getting at. Every time you get some really serious question, the 50% of the gold price determination begins to move. Right. And uh, I, I, I think it is fascinating. Uh, and uh, I don't know, is Ben oh. Steele in, in the audience? Yes. There he is, okay. Uh, before you read my book, go read Ben's book. Uh, <laughs> the reason is you'll find it fascinating on exactly this issue, because here you had the ultimate test at the Mount Washington Hotel in 1944 of the real intellectual debate between the uh, those who wanted an international fiat currency which was embodied in John Maynard Keynes' uh, con construct of a bank corps, and he was there in 1944 holding forth with all of his prestige but couldn't counter the fact that the United States dollar was convertible into gold, and that was the major draw. Everyone wanted Americans, America's gold, and I think that Ben really described that in extraordinarily useful terms as far as I can see. Anyway, thank you. Right. Well, I'm sure with comments like that, that will be turning you into a rock star amongst the gold bug community. <laughs>